Hello everybody, my name is Dylan Cash, aka Fumincho, and today I'm here to tell you that I am going to be a mangaka, a manga artist. I'm going to go to Japan, live in Japan. I'm going to get serialized and hopefully even get my own anime series. This has been a dream of mine for the last 15 years. For 15 years it's been in the back of my head, it's been bearing down on my shoulders, and I'm sick of it. I want to start this thing, I want to make it happen. So this is the beginning in a long, long running series here on this YouTube channel. I don't have a name for this series yet, maybe like Road to Being a Mangaka or A Mangaka's Journey or something along those lines where I basically just document my progression as an artist. Uh, so welcome, welcome to the beginning of the journey. So there's a couple of things I need to note here. First things first, I need to start drawing. That is really, really important to me. I don't put enough time in. I'm not very good at drawing. I actually consider myself quite terrible. And I know that's not healthy to say such a thing, but I really am. I need to admit it. And it's my fault that I'm that bad. I just don't put the work in. And it's not the actual work itself. It's not the actual drawing that's difficult. It's the motivation in it all. It's just hard for me to find the time just to get up and sit down at this desk and actually draw. And I think that this series is going to help with that. A promise has been made. There's stakes now. And I think that that is going to help drive me to actually start drawing. Another thing that's going to help me draw is drawing streams. I've done a couple of these before and I really, really, really want to do it again. I had a blast doing them before. And I think that this time things could be a little bit different. First things first, I'm investing in some better equipment that's going to make these streams look really, really cool. I got like this cool crane thing, this camera that's going to beam down, I have correct lighting. It's going to look awesome and it's going to be uh, a big part of this channel. Now I don't know if I'm going to be streaming here directly on this channel or if it's going to be on Twitch, but regardless you will see uh, those streams uploaded here on this channel. I, I will maybe cut them down and just show the important parts, the things that I actually drew. Uh, there's also a couple of, you know, themes and stuff that I could do as well. For example, like Halloween is coming up. I could do like a spooky drawing contest or something where I try to draw like a pumpkin head or something. Or uh, I mentioned on Twitter a couple of weeks ago that I wanted to do like a Naruto drawing stream where I just try to draw Naruto and study him as a character. Like I think that that could be really fun as well as just trying to draw a specific character, learning uh, you know, different styles and things of that such. I think that streams are really going to help me, you know, just start drawing again, because not only am I drawing and practicing, but I also am engaging with my audience and talking with you guys. And again, it was so much fun before, and it's something that I've been wanting to do for some time. Things have been very difficult, but I have my own studio now. It's possible now. Uh, I don't know what times and, you know, when it's going to start, but this is something that I'm definitely developing and it's going to be a part of the series. It's going to be a part of this initiative. Something else that's going to be a part of this series as well, maybe a little more spread out, maybe every couple of months, I want to upload a video where I basically uh, showcase my art, showcase pieces that I'm actually proud of, you know, because in these drawing streams, I'm going to be drawing some crap. I'm not going to lie to you guys, you know, we, we've done these streams before and things don't look pretty all the time, but... With this series, I really want to just showcase things that look really, really good to me and things that I've learned. This is going to be a scripted type of video where I just show like aspects of drawings that I really like and uh, things that I've learned throughout the time, you know, whether it's three point perspective or a new way to draw eyes or new styles developing. Maybe I'm studying a specific artist, so, things like that, I think are really important. And again, showcasing this art is going to showcase progression. Uh, you know, I, I might have three or four different videos a year where I just show where I am as an artist and going through that throughout the year I think is going to be important uh, and, and just helping me grow as an artist and looking at it years from now is going to be quite magical as well if I actually get really, really good. Uh, seeing all the crap below uh, I think is going to kind of boost my morale and, and who I am as an artist in the future. Uh, and also, you know, I have some really cool uh, editing techniques. I think that these videos could look really, really cool and uh, I'm really excited about it. Also, not only showcasing my art, I kind of want to do a series where I showcase other mangaka art. I want to showcase the art of Naruto. I want to talk about what that art has done to me, how it inspires me. I want to talk about how Bleach inspires me. For some reason, it does. I don't know why. Bleach looks cool to me. I, it, please, forgive me. I like Bleach. I just want to do a series where I can talk about other 
art forms and, and sort of what I have learned from them. We could look at like panels and scans and just kind of showcase what this artist is doing to make things look so good. And I also think that studying art is very important as well. It's not just about, you know, putting things down to practice. It's about learning, uh, not just, you know, seeing someone draw it, but studying sort of how the lines are working. Uh, and I think it, it could also be a fun series of videos as well. It's just kind of showcasing these types of styles, whether it's, you know, again, Bleach or Naruto or Vagabond or Berserk or something like that, where you could tell the differences in juxtaposition between the two, and, and they're still both manga, and I think that that could be really exciting. Obviously, there's more to this journey than just learning how to draw. The drawing is sort of, uh, I would call it, the first arc in the journey, uh, but learning Japanese. I said I'm, that I'm, that I'm going to be moving to Japan, so I guess I'm going to be doing like videos where I speak Japanese. Now, I don't really know... Uh, what way shape or form those videos are going to take, but I'm going to be doing them I need to speak Japanese in order to learn Japanese uh, I'm hopefully gonna be taking classes at the beginning of next year where I can really like just start learning You know just just hit the ground running. I really just want to get that done I think learning Japanese is just cool anyway I watch and read so much manga that it just kind of needs to happen regardless if I'm going to Japan or not uh, I've always wanted to learn Japanese and I, I think it could be really cool to do like sort of uh, progression videos where I basically I don't know, study Japanese. Maybe this is a stream idea. Maybe I could do it on Twitch where like, I like, practice phrases or, or write in Japanese. I know reading and writing in Japanese is supposed to be like the hardest thing ever. And I'm really, really scared. Honestly, I'm kind of more scared about that than I am so just learning how to draw because Japanese, I, I'm, I wasn't great in school. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Full disclosure, I'm not the best in a classroom and I don't know if I'm gonna be taking classes in a classroom, but studying things and, and learning things isn't exactly my forte, so uh, it's defi definitely going to be interesting to see how that progression works. Uh, but again, it's very, very important. And also, learning about Japanese culture as well. I think that I could do a series of streams where I read about Japanese culture with you guys, or, or tell you stories and, and folklore of Japan and things like that. Now, I don't know how important that is, but it's also just kind of fun to learn about those things. I do want to know as much as possible uh, before I hopefully move to Japan. So there are a lot of hurdles to get over before this dream can happen. There, there's so many other things that I didn't mention. Hundreds of hundreds of other things that, that are in my way that, that I have to overcome. Money is obviously a huge thing. I, I am not rich. I, I can't just hop on a plane and go to Japan right now. I need to work a lot. And that's going to be hard because I also need to draw a lot. And there's also other YouTube videos I want to do as well. I want to play games as well. And don't get me wrong. You know, I'm going to be drawing a lot and I'm going to be... Uh, you know showcasing that in streams and such and you know I'm gonna be doing that but I don't want to only do that because I also really really love video games I know I should only be doing that but I'd go crazy if that's you know the only thing I do so I will be streaming video games as well on Twitch I will be streaming and perhaps talking and reacting to video game related things uh, here on this YouTube channel as well it's gonna be a little bit more sparse uh, it might not be like super well edited and super good looking it's sort of just gonna be me talking in front of a camera uh, maybe some gameplay clips uh, reactions are super easy and fun to do uh, so I'm obviously gonna keep doing that anime related content as well I kind of want to keep doing because it's just fun but I don't want to freak out as much about it I don't want to put uh, pressure too much pressure on myself again the whole point of this series uh, this mangaka series is for me to look back on uh, whether it be in regrets or in pride and, and, and you know, how long I've stuck with it. I, I don't really know. Hopefully it's the latter, but I think that it's important to have these types of moments. I think it's important to have uh, things to look back on. And in a world where YouTube exists, uh, why not? So again, I mentioned that becoming a mangaka has been a dream of mine for over 15 years. And unfortunately, I can't really discuss... Uh, the stories I want to tell and things like that because I do have a lot of great ideas and a lot of uh, things that I that I have written down that I've been writing for the last five to six years that I've you know really genuinely feel proud of uh, I can't really showcase that to you guys I can't really tell you guys that because that's the stuff that you can steal uh, I don't have that stuff copyrighted we'll probably have to do that eventually too uh, but, uh, you know, another series of videos that I could do is, is perhaps story series. Maybe bring back story series. If you've been a subscriber on this channel for the last year or so, you might remember that. It's a little series of videos I did for uh, a couple months and didn't really grow too much. It didn't really... 
it was kind of my fault. I didn't really put my all into it, and maybe that's something that, that I'd bring back. I'm not making any promises yet, but I think that that could be a fun way to sort of develop my writing quite a bit. I'm always writing. Writing is always very important to me, but uh, I, I, I just have so much in my head and so much written down already where it's just like I kind of... I kind of need to just start drawing now. I kind of want to just make some of the ideas that I already have up. You know, I want to draw those ideas before I start thinking of more ones. So it's kind of, it's kind of hard to, to gauge where I am on that. But again, like just drawing manga, I, I don't see uh, the stories that I have written in any other art form or in any other form of entertainment. I just don't. I really don't. I, it, the stories that I have are meant to be manga. Uh, they're meant to be read that way, uh, and it's very important to me. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I remember the first time I read uh, Shonen Jump. I got a Shonen Jump magazine at Barnes & Noble, and I remember just being entranced by it. I was maybe 10, 11, 12 years old, and I remember showing my mom and telling her that, like, I want to do this. This is important to me. I need to do this. And she was like, okay, yeah, I mean, like, I don't think she really understood. And, you know, she was being a great mom and just saying, you can do whatever you want. You know, you're number one. And, uh, you know, I'll never forget that. You know, that meant something that, that she she thought that I could do it. And I want to show her that I can. You know, I want to show my siblings. My siblings, they they know that I have this dream. They know that, that, that I have these ideas. I've actually told them some of my ideas. And, and I, I want to show them that I can do this. And most importantly, I want to show you guys that I can do this. If there's a fraction of a 1% chance that I can be a mangaka, I want to take that fraction as an absolute certainty. I want to make this happen uh, because it's... I feel it in my blood. I know that sounds absolutely stupid. I feel... I just... I do. I feel it in my heart, in my soul, in my bones that this is what I'm meant to do. And again, I know that sounds so silly. I'm like laughing in my head right now how stupid that sounds. But it's just, it's so, I can't tell you how much I've thought of this, uh, of this dream. How much I've thought of literally panels and panels and pages and, and my own anime series. I've thought of openings for my own anime series. I've thought of like voice actors that I want to play my characters. And like, I, I have thought this through for so many years and it's just, I want to make it happen. And I think that this this series of videos is going to really, really help uh, kickstart that journey. So if you want to be a part of this journey, make sure to hit the subscribe button and, and join this party and, and join this journey. Because, I, I, again, I, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to like be super deliberate and say, I promise this is going to happen. I promise that I'm going to be a mangaka. I don't want to do that. Uh, I think that that's a little too much. But I definitely want to try my absolute hardest. That is sort of the goal here. And if you want to see me do that, if you want to see me achieve uh, my dreams, then, then, then you know, join the party and subscribe. Uh, I want to thank all of you guys for, for uh, sort of lifting my spirits, uh, especially Neko-chan on Twitter. I'm sorry I'm name dropping you. I, I, I don't even know. You just, you have helped me so much in terms of just like raising my spirits, as I mentioned. Like I can draw, you know, a, a, a cool little doodle, I guess. And you just, I don't know, just like small little comments like, this looks great, hey, good job, like that, that really means the world to me. It truly does, and that inspires me to do better, and I just, I want to thank not only Neko-chan, but all of you guys out there that have given me that positivity, and I just, it, it's, man, I, I want you guys to be a part of this journey, I really do. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. If for some reason, again, you've watched this and you are not subscribed, uh, uh, hit the subscribe button. Again, if you want to see the progression of a mangaka, uh, you know, be a part of it. And uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed anything that I had to talk about today. Uh, if you believe in me and if you think that this is a possibility, uh, smash that like button. You know what? It, it is a possibility. It is going to happen. I am going to be a mangaka. I am going to get my own anime series. I'm going to live in Japan and... Uh, oh my god, this is just the beginning of the journey. So, thank you guys very, very much for watching. I'm sorry it kind of went on a little bit too long. Uh, but until next time, until the next entry in this journey, I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>